This is an unprecedented takeover of not just the United States, but of the world. This is a new world order being instituted by the Federal Reserve, the White House, finishing their final solution, their century-long plan to become the lender and buyer of last resort so they own the world. It's all cooked. It's just, it's crazy. This is what happens when you have a communist fascist New World Order takeover and they feed you whatever information that they want you to believe is true. Divide and conquer mechanism, the distractions, they're in full swing. There's no choice, there's no free market, there's no anything anymore. It's all twisted and distorted and these things are only gonna get worse. Scandemic was to see what they can get away with. And I mean, not only was it to see what they can get away with, this was a deliberate shutdown to allow the Federal Reserve to become the lender and buyer of last resort bailouts now for smaller cities, only trillions around the world. Spend, spend, spend. Bury yourself in more debt than you've ever been in before. All part of the same twisted scheme. There's all that digital money backed by nothing and printed on nothing, coming from all those central banksters. These low-life scummy politicians around the world locked down the global economy. When the Federal Reserve came in and said, we'll give you criminals, the Wall Street gang, all the money you want to keep the fraud going. You got it? We'll buy you junk bonds. We'll give you all the dough you need to keep gambling. The trading houses. This thing isn't opening up. The whole game is disgustingly rigged. Disgusting politicians that are mentally impaired that destroy the global economy. We'll be dead in 10 years because these same six son of a bitches and to be equal, daughters of bastards are going to take us to war. And you can see how easily the people march off, just like they marched off to them to fight the COVID war. It's the prostitutes that sold us this and the politicians that took advantage of it. All this unrest going on around America. And this is just the beginning. And it's going to be global. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. 